Tracker Weather app. Download it now. Welcome back to We Are Austin. 20 to 50% of women will experience symptoms of fibroids in their lifetime, but fortunately new technology offers life-changing alternatives to surgery. Here to tell us what you need to know is Dr. Connie Sue from Austin Radiological Association. Thanks for being back with us. Thanks for having me. So when we talk about fibroid tumors, what yes. exactly are those? Well, the uterus has muscle cells which can grow into benign tumors hmm. called fibroids. And the problem is that when these fibroids grow over time, they can cause symptoms. Mm -hmm. Symptoms such as heavy menstrual bleeding, pelvic pain, urinary frequency. And so the problem is that many women will experience these things over their lifetimes, typically in their 40s and 50s, mm -hmm. and they'll go to their OBGYNs, and typically it'll be discovered on ultrasound that they've got fibroids. Right. And we have a very good cooperative relationship with our gynecology colleagues. So. so who are the women at risk for this? Sounds like really anyone could anyone. potentially. Anyone, yes, yes. It Go on, sorry. Oh, typically, you know, we do see women in their 40s and 50s, but okay. occasionally we'll see women in their 30s. Yes. Okay, so it sounds like you have some treatments to combat this, which is yes, great. Yes, we do. So traditionally, um, women have had surgical hysterectomy mm -hmm. as a treatment option for their symptomatic fibroids, which is removing the uterus. Right. And so over the last 20 years, uterine fibroid embolization has become a non-surgical treatment option for women to keep their uterus but yet at the same time treat the symptomatic fibroids. That's so great that there's options. So yes. what does that feel like for a patient? What does it look like? Well, typically what happens is the procedure is done in an angiography suite mm -hmm. and we uh, typically will go into um, an artery in the groin with the catheter and we will select the blood supply going to the fibroids and occlude the blood supply to the fibroids mm -hmm. so that over time the fibroids will shrink without the patient having surgery. Wow. However, nowadays, with new technology and catheters, we can actually, in certain patients, go into the artery in your wrist wow. and go all the way down into your pelvis. Are you serious? Yes. That is and so treat interesting. your fibroids. And then at, afterwards, we can put in this wristband. Okay, yes. Yeah. So which what I'm going to show here? you. All right. So this is after the surgery. This is after right, surgery. We, we move this tiny baby catheter okay. from the wrist, and then we inflate the balloon. Is that? Yes. You want me to do this you right now? Do that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just, so uh, steady yeah. hands, not the strong. Yeah, so. you're fine. Okay, so I just. Do this. Inflate the balloon and okay. you take off the catheter. So just go like that. And that's okay. it. And so the balloon will um, put a little gentle pressure where the catheter used to be in the artery, uh -huh. and that is it. So two hours after procedure, um, you know, you can sit up. Unlike, you know, previously when we went into the groin, you would have to keep the legs straight for six hours. Wow, and yeah. that is just changing everything. Going through the wrist, so I can't can believe you that. Imagine 50 years ago, women never could imagine that instead of having a hysterectomy where the uterus had to come out, right. that nowadays we can go into your wrist go all the way down to your pelvis, treat your fibroids, and you keep your uterus. Yeah, and you can be feeling good in a matter of hours. Yes, that is some exactly. drastic evolution and so I know. cool. Improvement in medicine. Yeah, for that's sure. really great. Well, thank you for sharing that. So if people yeah. want to find more information, they can head to your website or give you guys a call. Totally. And there is AUSRAD.com, Austin Radiological Association. Dr. Sue, thanks for being here. I'm going to have to go read me. more about this. Please Appreciate do. it. Yes. All right, stick around. Coming up next.